Hello and welcome to the video, a very quick video about this new thing here. This is the latest flight controller from SpeedyBee. Now SpeedyBee are kind of affiliated and related to RunCam and I've had a few of the SpeedyBee pieces in here already. Now the really cool thing about SpeedyBee is that they include like a Bluetooth connection to an application on the phone that allows you to access and change not only beta flight but iNav settings as well. So if you're at the field and you want to tweak something and you can't get through it to the on-screen display or you haven't got a computer with you you just pull your phone out link with the app and you can change everything now this latest version is the f7 all-in-one flight controller uh, about $50 weighs about 8.8 .8 grams it supports 4-in-1 ESC's and has uh, an updated layout which is much more modern has 8 pin connector and solder pins uh, to get down to an ESC uh, there are some really handy things in the manual that show you how the wiring all goes together. So if you have a 4-in-1 ESC that comes with this kind of cable, you can just plug it in. And we've seen those kind of things on the channel with other flight controllers. The other nice thing is there's an awful lot of power available on here, which is great if you're going to attach uh, external sensors, LIDARs, GPSs, and those kind of things. There's uh, five 5-volt five outputs and one 9-volt output, maximum of 2.5 amps. The only thing I can't see is how much power regulation is on the 9-volt line. I squared C pins for external GPS. So if you wanted to use this for iNav or for the GPS rescue mode in beta flight, that's there. Input power supports 3S to 6S LiPo and the current monitoring goes up to 200 amps. 32 meg onboard data flash and obviously has the usual integrated on-screen display as well. But the thing that I really like, if I plug it into the computer, you can see here the target's a Speedy BF7. Uh, it's running 4.1 as it's been supplied here. It's got barometer, gyro, accelerometer. So the onboard barometer you can see, but it has four UARTs that you can do something with, which is great. Modern flight controllers, I think, need this amount of UARTs for all of the different things. If you're going to run things like crossfire you're going to need a crsf input output if you're going to have an external compass you're going to need something for that you're going to need something to potentially control your vtx and maybe even control your camera as well so i'm very pleased to see that we're getting more uarts on stuff like this wiring doesn't look too tricky either the manual and the website itself has some pretty good graphics of where everything's got to be wired up but I managed to get my hands on two of these and I'm not going to use both so I'm going to do a draw for the other one if you are interested in going in the draw then all you have to do is to like this video pop a comment down below and make sure you are a subscriber to the channel and I'll do the draw in 10 to 14 days good luck to everybody make sure you've got the bell notification icon turned on and then you won't miss the announcement of the winner Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.